sense, you know, fraternities, sororities, you know, sports teams, whatever, but it makes the most sense in big businesses. So you understand, guys, do you think people apply to Google? Do you think people apply to Facebook? Do you think people actually apply for these big places? No, hell no, they don't. They, they have a, now they can apply to be an intern, but no one cares about that. What they care about, when they have like a big time position, they're not like saying, oh, let's just hold applications. Let's go find someone on Indeed. What they're going to do is they're going to go find someone. They're going to say, they're going to talk to their existing employees and be like this. Hey, who do you know that would crush this job? That's exactly what my dad, that's what happened with my dad. My dad lost a job for four years and was lucky that someone recommended him to work at the GPO. Now he's got a good job. But it benefits, besides the fact of it just making sense in the real world, we do it because it benefits everyone in our office. So I'm going to give you a nasty incentive to recommend everyone you know. First off, the first type, the first person recommends is me. I mean, the first person thinks to me. It benefits is me uh, as the manager. First off, I like having a great environment. I like having a big team. And not a big team, but a high-quality team. Other managers like having big teams. I like having a really high-quality team that's big. And, guys, we've had some fun the last couple days, right? The last couple days. I know it hasn't been six flags. But it's been fun, right? Yeah, it's been awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Well, listen, guys, can you imagine instead of having, like, 12 of you, having it have a 25 deep in the next sales meeting? Oh, man. And, like, with, and by the way, everyone, be, everyone being, like, a friend, everyone being super high-quality. Look around the room. There's no scrubs. Imagine being, like, 70 of you instead. Ooh. Think of what we can do with that. I think of how awesome. Guys, this would be, like, Wall, this would be Wolf of Wall Street with no cocaine or hookers. Like, seriously. Ooh. Now I'll tell you this as well. It also saves me a lot of money in advertising. I don't really want to spend the money in advertising. I'd rather just give it to you. But it benefits more, not just me, but the people you're going to recommend, number one, and number two, um, you. First off, your friends. It benefits the friends you're going to recommend because the job market is terrible for students right now. According to recent unemployment stats, five out of every six college graduates does not get a job in their field. That means five out of six kids will not get a job after college after spending fifty to hundred thousand dollars on their education and possibly going into more than likely going to massive debt. And we've also found that about over a little over half of college graduates move back home within three months because they can't live on their own because they can't afford it. And the reason this happens is because they have no discernible resume experience. And that's exactly where we come in. And also get the opportunity to one, find a job, get, make some money and get a job and have the opportunity to actually live on their own and not live in, not live in mom and dad's basement and broke this and break the stereotype of the broke college kid. See, one of the point, things I love to do guys, I love shooting guns. And in August, uh, Mr. Hurlman, our division manager, took the division to go shoot guns at Colonial Shooting Academy. And I went back to my old office in Harrisburg. I told my buddy who went to Jamie, I'm like, dude, we've got to go to this thing. This thing is baller shit. And he, he looked at me. He was like, uh, I'm like, he's like, dude, how much is it going to cost? I'm like, dude, it's going to cost like 60 bucks. Let's go. And he was like, dude, I can't do that. I'm like, why can't you do that? He's like, well, the broke college kid starts to laugh. And I'm like, and again, he's one of my best friends, so I'm able to be kind of blunt with him. But I say, listen, what's funny about, what's funny about being broke? What's funny about not having freedom? What's about not being able to do what you want? And just so you all know, most of your friends have already given up, have already resigned themselves to working at Sheets because they have no idea something different and special like this is out there. I was like that. The guy who recommended me recommended me to win a contest. And literally without him, I don't know where I'd be. Actually, I do know exactly where I'd be. I'd be working at Giant because that's where I worked before, stocking ravioli and living with my mom. I have to thank this kid every day. Now, did I take advantage of the opportunity? Absolutely. But if it wasn't for him and not, I wasn't able to be afforded that opportunity, my life would be way different. But it also benefits you too. First off, it benefits you because the most noble and the most noble and um, the most noble thing you could do when you find something special and different like this is to share it with other people. So it feels amazing in training when you see three or four of your friends about it, about ready to rock and roll and rip it like you're about to. Like, for example, Jimmy Loper, you know, Niall over here, dude, you were recommended by Jimmy. When I told Jimmy you were set for training and same with you, Maddie. When I told Jimmy that you guys are set for training, he was so fired up. He was like, fuck yeah. He was so excited. Dude, um, oh, I went through the like, four people in the back. But guys, when Chaz, when I told Chaz you guys were in, um, when, when I told Chaz that you guys were in training, he was so excited. When Matt was Seamus, when, when Maddie recommended you, I told him you, when I told her you were set for training, she was so excited. Guys, our team absolutely loves, you know, having an awesome team. So it feels amazing when you see all those people set for training. It felt amazing when I had half my football team working in the Fairfax office. But also benefits you prize-wise. Check this out. Andy, can you go to the fast start sheet for me really quick, bro? Yeah. Awesome. Cool. You see that level eight? You see the ones this qualification is based on? You see that yep. one? Yes. All right, cool. Don't read that one. Read that bolded one underneath it. Every personal recruit launched the first 10 days. And then and every kid's like, I'm like, guys, you understand how crazy? Think about this. Let's say, Mario, let's say you crush the fast start. Let's say you absolutely rip this shit. And you go and sell $11,423 your fast start. You'd awesome. You made 2300 bucks. And that'd be really cool. But you miss Cancun. But let's say you recommend a bunch of people. We liked four of them. They got on the team. They sold a grand. Congratulations. You're going to Cancun. 
Damn. Woo. Think about this. Let's say, Brian, let's say you crush the job. I mean, let's say you do a great job and you're faster. You know, you sell 7,350. You miss the signature set, but you got three friends of the team. Congratulations. You're going to the VIP night and you won the signature set just by doing that. Damn. And check this out. Guys, in the back in the old days, you know, we used to have to take like two, three, four hours, like either two hours to like write name, phone number, everyone on our phone. Now, we even made it way easier on you guys. It's an app. Now, everyone downloads the app, blah, blah. And then I do this. So I'm like, okay, guys, listen. And I get, they get to like the part where they have like all their names right there, right? So they're all there. And then this is like the kicker. This is how I, this is how I get them. So guys, there are five types of people on our phone. One are people that we know like really, really well, our inner circle. Group number one. Group number two is, um, group number two are like our acquaintances, people we know from high school, people we know from college, the people we talk, that we talk to like once in a while, we don't talk to very often. Group number three are people we have no idea who the fuck they are, like you saw them once at a party, you know, whatever. Group number four are like your businesses, like Domino's, you know, whatever. And also like, you know, Max, like mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, aunts, uncles, people like that. Now, guys, what groups do you think I want you to recommend? What groups? One, two. one and two, right? Now, I actually want you to do one, two, and three. Now, guys, check this out. Three, I'm gonna give you a map, I'm gonna give you a nasty incentive. Now, there's a couple levels that the, the, the region's done to help you guys win some extra cutco and some extra fast start prizes. So listen, if you recommend 50 people, which is like the most gimme level of gimme levels, you can you get double credit for today. Double credit for your fast start. Now, the next level, double credit for your first day of your fast start. Now, if you do 100, if you recommend 100, which is also another gimme level, everyone hits that, you know, it's double, you get two days. So today and tomorrow. I mean, for example, David, uh, and then here's what I do. So 150 plus, you get either your first or second weekend is double credit. First thing we don't credit, whichever one's higher. Now check this out. You know, David Vigiant recommended 170 people. He sold three grand his first weekend. He's already won the full homemaker set, the kitchen, uh, the stainless steel table knife, the shear, uh, the, um, the steak knife, the fisherman solution, and the gadget set. And by the way, he's gonna, after the sale today, he's wrapping up, he's gonna win the stranger set just by recommending a bunch of people. So what I want you all to do really quick is go through there, just deselect groups four and five, and then when you get to the very, very bottom, don't click next yet, come up to me, come talk to me, and we'll get you going. That's it. Are you sitting or standing? Standing. So when they come talk to you, you're sitting? Oh, when I sit down. Like, when they, when they start doing that, I put some music on, I chill, I'm just on my phone, just chilling. I'll say, I want to make it as low-key as humanly possible. And after I'm done, I'm like, okay, cool, that's it. Five minutes on the dot. That is good <laughs> shit. Um, let's talk about some takeaways from that. That was really impressive. So what takeaways? Energy, the whole yeah, Ella.